evil takes a human form and Olivia Fraser that I don't want to be in this conversation. Yesterday, Monster Liv was out to play and sorry couch potatoes, I couldn't watch that over and over again as I edit the recap. Milk it, like mm. or maybe milk it because that's all you want. <laughs> Rachel, you set this for us. Hello fellow couch potatoes, welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. It's time for the final vows and everyone is moving out. The last night together, the last night together, last night together, ahead of final vows. Wait, hold up, wait a minute. The couples were able to see each other after the roller coaster dinner party. Liv is getting emotional about saying goodbye to Jackson. <laughs> Saying goodbye to Jackson, it's really sad. I'll see you soon. Don't miss me too much, all right? I'll try not to. <laughs> Brent is refusing to say goodbye to Tam Tam ahead of final vows, and I don't blame him one bit. It's a little bit upsetting that Brent doesn't want to say goodbye to me, but I guess last night was hurtful for him, so maybe that's why. Don't you dare. Selena is taking Cody home because travel restrictions have been lifted. The plan is for him to meet her parents for the first time. Cody is meeting Selena's mother, Teresa. Oh, hello. How are you? It's is a pleasure. Selena? I'm Cody. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mother Teresa, of course I couldn't help myself. Mother Teresa whipped out her fine china and clumsy Cody broke them. We'll come back for the rest. Oh gosh, pressure. You blamed it, I Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's embarrassing. Very, very clumsy. She's not really handled stuff properly. Maybe the situation too. It's for special occasions. Two hours later. After all that commotion, Cody admits Zach's going to have to move if things with Selena progress. You can't meet, live with your mate, <laughs> Selena, there. She told me the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I know. Look at my mum's face. Yeah. I know. Not impressed. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. He's going to have to go. Poor Zach. I'll have to break the news to him. Tam Tam Sorry. meets with her friend at a local restaurant to discuss her relationship issues and not knowing what Brent does for a living. She gets it. I actually yeah. don't even honestly still understand what he does. She doesn't get it. That job and that occupation side of things has been a huge problem in our relationship. How sexy and mysterious. Meanwhile, Brent tells his mother that he has mixed emotions when it comes to Tamara. Brent doesn't seem happy today. He's very torn about what he wants to do and what his feelings are. So that makes me a little bit upset for him. Brent's mom gave him the best advice, suggesting that Brent walk away from Tam Tam. Take a step back and think, well, is this someone I can be with? Is it, do I want to go through those fights? Keep walking. Jackson's mom thinks that Olivia holding grudges is ringing alarm bells. <laughs> and oh my goodness, mama, you have no idea. It's worrying what might happen in the long run. You would have to choose between family or her. That's an alarm bell for me. Oh, snap. Just don't hide things. Don't pretend something's right when it's not. You know, it, it's not going to work. Throw it away. It's time for Olivia and Jackson's decision. As Olivia and Jackson get ready for vows, they are pretending they have doubts and questions. Everything about my well-being hangs in the balance of what Jackson says. Jackson, you're my soulmate. Are we codependent? I smell codependency. Oh, if we only knew. Liv and Jackson have reunited and Liv says he radiates warmth and is even-tempered. And that makes her feel worthy. You're my dream man who I never dared to dream of for fear of being unworthy. Jackson, you've built me up and made me feel worthy and adored every day that I've known you. Eventually. Jackson says that Olivia's snide comments have made him reconsider their relationship. But through all the good times we have shared, there have been some moments that really made me think about us moving forward. You're a 
the way you have at times responded to challenges of the experiment. You're me. And some of the snide comments. Hate it, hate it, hate it. That you have made along the way. Kind of a big deal. Don't sit well with me. It's not great. To be brutally honest with you. They continue to blah, blah, blah. And he says, despite all that, he's so grateful that he met her and Jesus to stay. Thank you. Next. Next are Tamara and Brent. They don't even hug. Hello. Group hug. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay. Ladies first. So Tam Tam says she can't believe they've made it to this point. Neither can I. Neither can I. I can't believe that after all we've been through, that we've made it to the end of the aisle again. We're off to a good start. She says she showed her real self and all her flaws from the get go. Unfortunately, this is true. From the day I met you, I never held back from showing you the real me and every floor I came with. That explains it then. She continues by saying there were heaps of times they could have called it quits and blah blah blah. You have made me realize that materialistic things don't really matter to me. They like money. She decides to leave the relationship but adds, If you take any advice from me, it's just to be yourself and that you're enough. Do yo, do yo, bobo, do yo. Brent explains her true colors showed when she became vindictive, spiteful, and self-absorbed. Closer to the end, as the stresses of the experiment really started to wear us down and that homesick feeling set in, your true colors showed. You became vindictive, spiteful, and self-absorbed. You're tacky and I hate you. She lacks all qualities he's looking for in a partner. I was made to feel like a fool, chasing you around for the smallest amount of decency and respect that anyone in the world should show another human. Wow. The refusal to give in or let go, and eventually the inability to be kind destroyed us. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh. I've seen the real you, the one who doesn't respect me or anyone around her. You don't have any real loyalty to anyone, and I realize you lack all the qualities I'm looking for in a partner. You are not God's gift to humanity, so stop looking down on everyone. <laughs> so on that note, good luck, good riddance. Oh, oh. He just threw his speech cards on the ground and walked off. It's so dramatic and performative, but I liked it. Did you catch potatoes? Let me know in the comment section below. Tamara doesn't understand what just happened. Goodbye. But when will I see you again? Oh, never. Never. Thank you. Definitely walking out of here with my head held high, with integrity and with no regrets.